gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living sore throat boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1400 ladder. It still feels so good to say that, ladies and gentlemen. I really do appreciate all the support. As I said in the intro just now, yeah, I've got a sore throat. Uh, my stupid self decided to drive with the windows rolled down in my sports car, and now uh, the pollen has attacked me like a stun spore in Pokemon. So I'm just going to not use up my voice so much and, and just go ahead and do this market watch. So uh, it's been a few days since I've uploaded. I know I've been busy with life, um, just waiting for this damn ban list to drop. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the market here because there's actually been some interesting stuff going on with the OCG ban list coming out. Uh, first and foremost, we've got to talk about the Blackluster Soldier Normal Monster. Um, 2,000 of these were given out uh, in a random drawing. If you bought the Egyptian God stainless steels, they're going for $1,200 right now, Lobus. As you can see here, it goes from 12 to 13, 13 on up to 17, and then 500, which is kind of weird, um, but it seems to be the one from the sweepstakes, according to this. So I guess swipe this one up while you can. Is this actually like from the sweepstakes? A uh, TCG version only for $500. That's actually kind of crazy. If this is like the legitimate one, uh, from the Swiss, yeah, it's got the the thing on the back. Yeah, so uh, wow, five hundred dollars. That's actually not bad at all. Um, swipe this up while you can. Five hundred dollars. I guess it just got listed before I started recording. Um, well, yeah, there's that, and then the Kaiba briefcases as well. So the briefcase itself is around the hundred ish dollar mark. Um, this is the one to ten scale one. Um, sealed is 875, anywhere from 800 to 900. Someone's trying to charge 1750, 2300, 850, uh, 355 for the briefcase all the way from Japan, though. Uh, so obviously that's not going to be as expensive. Um, yeah, you're looking for basically a thousand dollars for the whole thing. Uh, just the blue eyes as I've seen go anywhere from like 500 and higher. Um, so do keep that in mind. I also want to mention the Egyptian gods. These things are basically over 1,000. 717, 1,100, 838, 900, 750. These things range anywhere from 700 to a grand. This one's a new listed. This is all the way from Japan, though. Um, yeah, like this is a beautiful piece. I'm so glad I got mine. Someone's trying to sell this for $5,000. Uh, no, like, get, get the fuck out. It's not going to be that price for a while, unfortunately, as much as I would love it to be that price. Uh, general stuff, just 875 over here on TCG Player. 2200 for the Masterpiece Blue Eyes, is, and apparently they're moving. Change of Hearts at 3 in the OCG now. Fun fact, uh, 150 for the Pharaoh's Raiders. If you want an OG Metal Raiders one, you're only looking at a few dollars. That's really not terrible. I mean, this is the one that I would go with because it says Magic Card. Um, hit me with that first edition. First edition damaged is obviously going to be kind of expensive. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, light play, uh, 118, which is not terrible if you want to go first edition for an old set like this, but I would just say go with unlimited, even unlimited. It's light play, unlimited are $3 for an old school change of heart. That's not bad at all, if we're being completely honest here. Um, summon sorceress, uh, I don't know why, unless this just updated. Uh, oh, well, we just kind of screwed ourselves up there, didn't we? Summon sorceress there we go i tried to reset the filters oh one must have just got listed it was ten dollars um this is now six dollars for light play mods for tens if you want the og summon sorceress like from the shonen jump magazine um because it did just get the errata which basically it just makes both monsters have their effects negated you can spend like a dollar or two to get the one from soul fusion uh, it's not that bad. Uh, Exceeds Rape here. So this doesn't have a reprint. It's from World Superstars. This is actually something you can play in time with Tempai Dragon. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know I've been gushing over Tempai Dragon for a hot minute. Uh, but Rape here says you can banish one Dragon type monster and one Worm type monster from your graveyard. Special summon one Exceeds Rape here from your hand or deck. If this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can inflict 500 damage to your opponent. You can only use each effect once a turn. We don't care about the Dragon and Worm thing. It's the fact that it's a Fire Dragon that you can special summon off of um, the Sangin Kaiman Quick Play spell card, or you can just normal summon it and then special summon Zongdora and either make Heavenly Spears or make a Synchro Summon line. Uh, and then Ray Pierce will deal 500 and you win the ball game in time. This card's an interesting pickup. They're not expensive. You're looking at five cents plus a dollar and change in shipping. If there's a uh, Cool Stuff Games in your location, or if you just want to go on CoolStuffGames.com, uh, at least when I bought mine, they were doing a buy one, get two free, and I paid 49 cents. 
got it shipped uh, to the store and I went and picked it up, or if you want to pay the 99 cents in shipping. So do keep this in mind. It doesn't have a reprint. It wouldn't be bad to at least pick it up to at least have. Um, next up here, I wanted to show this because if you just look at it on like this type of page, it'll show you that it's like $4. But when you actually click on it, it's because um, people have been listing OCG, Japanese listings. It's not super cheap. For those of you who are newer to the game, keep in mind you cannot play OCG listing cards in a tournament. So you can't play a Korean copy, uh, a, a Japanese copy. It has to be either English, German, French, Italian. It has to be something in a TCG territory. If you play this Japanese super rare, you, you will be banned. Or, I'm sorry, you won't be banned, but you'll be um, disqualified. Um, or even just get like a game or a match loss. So you, you can't play these. Um, so do keep that in mind. So they're they're ninety five to hundred dollars right now. They've been going down a little bit, probably because of the OCG ban list and because no one really wants to sit on expensive cards like this. Age of Overlord in general, though, Little Knights are still holding the line at five hundred dollars. Um, Magicians of Bonds and Unity, a terrible thing to pull. It's it's holding, I guess. It's not a great pull. Uh, these aren't actually $4. These are like 50 Remember, it's the OCG listings that people like to put up here. I don't know why those are so loud. Sky Crises are 12s. That's really not terrible. It's really weird to see like how this set flatlines when you're not looking at Snake Eyes stuff. Like the horse stuff kind of holds value, but it's really not anything uber special. Um, like if you want to play TGs, I guess, like you can get cheap quarter centuries, but it's, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Yeah, this, this set falls off a cliff. Uh, let's see here. We already talked about Widow Knight. Um, and then I like looking at the market, like from this perspective, kind of going through to see like the highest selling things. LOL, Royal Decrees are over a hundred dollars from the tournament pack. That's actually insane. Premium pack booster box, $564. Why? Another verse dragon. Are these things actually moving? Oh no, it's a Japanese listing. These things are $475 and they cap out at $700. Uh, well, you also get sleeves in that listing. Uh, who would ever buy this? Another verse dragon is such a terrible thing. Max C ultimate rares are... Do I even want to know? This card's never getting unbanned. This is... This is just something that's never going to pass. Mod plays are over 320s. Light plays, 400s. You can eat my ass proper. No thank yous. I'd rather not. United We Stands. These are the um, promotional cards. I think this is back with like COVID or something. Uh, yeah, this card was awarded as a prize to the October 2020 Remote Duel at Home Sweepstakes. Yeah, uh, that Remote Duels need to go the way of the Dodo. They're so filled with so many cheaters. Basically four hundred and one dollars. They cap out at two hundred thousand. Nobody's buying that. <laughs> like literally, four hundred though for a promotional card. That's actually not terrible. I always like looking at the miscellaneous things that you can get throughout the game's history. Um, the Adidas exclusive Dark Magician is only a hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, Machine Kings are like thirteen dollars. Uh, the Dark Magician girl. There's no listings. Jinzos are 150. That's interesting. Um, of course, the Masterpiece Series Dark Magician are 1600s. So those really did not sell well. Book of Moons Super Rares are 70s. Uh, now, if you're going to be investing in Book of Moons, you need to be getting Champion Packs, bro. Champion Packs are the way to go. If you don't be getting no, uh, if you're not getting Champion Packs, you're doing it wrong, pimp. Uh, did no wait? Hang on. Did someone actually buy out Karibo? Hold on. What? Karibo, $370? There's one listing. It got bought out. Really? Well, actually, no, it didn't really get bought out. There was one bought in December from the dual terminal. Bro, someone really wants to hit you with that high-end Karibo with Multiply, bro. Like, what? And Alligator Sword, there's only one listing from the World Championship card pack for... $625, you do you. See, like, the difference between collecting things that hold value and just stupid purchases is like buying an alligator sword for a stupid purchase because it's such from a specific pack that it's going to take forever to move. Like, I, I would never do that. Where's Lumina at now with uh, the new lights and stuff? Champion packs. These things have been crawling up. Uh, January 1 sold for 270 Light play French, 270 Okay, Near Mint is... $500, bro. 
I don't need Illumina that bad. Mine crushes are $50. Royal Oppression, this card's never coming back. $6. Bear from Different Dimensions, 2 Mushroom Man, 5 God, Necro Garden is our quarters. God, I remember playing this in my Burial Dad deck from back in the day. Prohibition, $63. Shh. Guys, let me know what you think about the market. It's kind of interesting to see, like, since we're around balance time, what's going on. But let me know what you think about all this and more down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.